Well, it's kind of gross, but you can tell this trap has caught a mouse in the past from the dark stain right there. That's where the captured mouse peed and it soaked in the wood. Today for Mouse Trap Monday, we're going to set up a mouse trap gauntlet in the barn with over a dozen traps at the same time to see how many mice we can catch with this wire funnel style trap. Now this style of mouse trap has been very popular in Europe for over 150 years and they're still being made today. So any mouse trap that's been around for that long period of time must work well. Basically it's a wire cage with a funnel where the mouse squeezes through to get the bait and then they're stuck. Because of the spikes, they can't get back out. There's many different variations. This one has two holes right here. Some of the older models have just one on top with the spikes. This one is handmade from a single piece of wire that's twisted around. There's even ones made out of plastic. I like all these variations, the square ones with the spikes. I can't wait to see how well they work. First, we're gonna test out a few with our pet mice, watch them squeeze in there and get caught. And then we're gonna set it up in the barn with a dozen traps to see how many mice we can catch. Okay, mice, I have another mouse trap for you to test out. Climb on inside. Well, this one seems a little stuck. I'll help them. They seem to go better on the flat one. Let's go set up the motion cameras and set up our mouse trap gauntlet. Well, the mice are circling, trying to figure out how to escape this trap, but with the wire funnel and those fingers, they can't get out. We got several doubles, a few singles. We even have some traps where they ate the bait and escaped. So you have to adjust the fingers small enough that they can squeeze through, but not get out. If it's too big, it's like a feeding station. Now what we caught are a non-native invasive species called a house mouse. They're not native to the ecosystem, so I can't let them go. Instead, I'm gonna humanely dispatch them and we're gonna feed them to wild animals. So let's go set up the motion cameras and see what comes along and enjoys a mouse feast. Well, the hawk enjoyed the mice we caught with the gauntlet of wire cage mouse traps. We could have caught more mice if I adjusted some of the traps. The opening was too large and they could escape. But if you pull in those fingers, it grabs the mice and they can't get out. There's so many different variations. I bought these as part of a larger mouse trap collection from Europe with over 200 different snap traps and over two dozen of these wire funnel traps. This has to be one of my favorites because it's handmade and in the past it caught a mouse and the mouse chewed through the bottom on the wood there and someone repaired it with the lid from a tin can. I can't really tell what that's from. It looks like a can of meat. If you know what that lid is from, let me know. Now, most of these were made in Germany and France, and they seem to be very popular. They're still being made today. On this channel, I test out every mouse and rat trap 
I can get my hands on. I posted over 700 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.